are you? So today's video is my very first Halloween video, finally. I'm so excited. I show you how to make these adorable little Halloween decorations. They're so cute. Um, I found this on Pinterest and fell in love with it like, I don't know, months ago and pinned it and so I'm finally making it and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, so to kick off this DIY, you're going to need two mason jars, some antique finished Mod Podge, labels of your choice, a skull if you want, it's optional, some feathers, some cheesecloth, and a cauldron. So we're going to start off by prepping our mason jars, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a nice coating of this Mod Podge all over the jars. Uh, basically this dries with a little bit of a sort of antique finish, and so it makes it not only look a little bit older, which is really good for this DIY, but it also makes seeing exactly what's inside the jar a little bit harder, which is good because obviously we're not going to be putting actual eyeballs and things like that inside of these jars, so you want to do what you can to make it look, to make the illusion look as real as possible. So you just want to do this. You don't want it to be an even coating because you don't want it to look perfect. You want it to look as messy and old as possible. So once you let those dry for a few minutes, you can go ahead and put your label onto there. So I'm using this label which says Owlet's Wing and all of these will be linked in the description and there are a ton of them so you can totally switch it up to be exactly what you want. So once you stick it on there, you're just going to give it a nice coating of the Mod Podge on top to seal it down and also to give the label an even more antique sort of feel than it already has. Um, don't worry about it being a little bit uneven or not sticking down perfectly because as as I already said, it's supposed to be messy. And obviously I'm just repeating those same steps with this label which says Eye of Newt. So now for our cauldron, what you're going to do is you're going to start by just putting a little bit of Mod Podge on there. It can be a really thin coating because we're not actually adding an antique feel to this. It won't work because the cauldron's black so you won't be able to see anything. But you want to give something for the label to stick to. So you're going to go ahead and throw the Witch's Brew label onto the cauldron and then give it a nice coating on top to make it stick down to the cauldron. And once you have that done, you're going to leave all of those things to dry. Now once they are completely dry, we can go ahead and start stuffing them. So for the Owlet's Wings, I'm going to be using feathers. And I think this looks really cool. You want to stuff it as full as possible and it just, I think it looks really, really cool. It almost looks like an Owlet's Wing. And then for Eye of Nude, I just brewed some tea and I'm just putting a little bit inside the jar. You don't want to fill it up all the way because as you add these grapes in, the water level is going to rise and then you don't want it to overflow or whatever. So I have these grapes here. Um, I actually had them in my fridge and they had gone or they were sort of on the verge of going bad. So I thought that it was perfect for this. Um, and I think it looks really cool because there are some green ones and some purple ones and it sort of looks a little bit old and messier. And once you're finished filling it up, you can just top it off the top with some more tea. And then we're going to go ahead and add our cheesecloth. So you just want to cut a piece of cheesecloth and lay it on top there. And then you want to screw the top onto the jar. That way the cheesecloth will be held in place. And then you're going to go ahead and trim the edges as messily and randomly as you possibly can. That way it sort of just looks torn and old. And obviously that's what we're going for here if you couldn't tell yet. And the order which you should put this down is the metal cap and then the cheesecloth and then the part that actually screws onto the mason jar. That way the top has the cheesecloth and not the metal part. And I just repeated that with Eye of Newt and now your mason jars are finished. So to finish off our witch's brew, I just shoved in two old t-shirts that I didn't think that I would need uh, to sort of fill up the base. And then to finish off the base, you're just going to cut a big piece of cheesecloth and lay it in there. That way it looks like it's sort of smoking or whatever. And then you're just going to start cutting pieces and draping them outside of the cauldron to make it look like the cauldron is overflowing. And then to finish it off, you're just going to take your scissors and messily sort of just mess up the part that's hanging outside of the cauldron. That way it looks really random and 
just like uh, smoke or some sort of a cauldron contraction. I don't know, whatever. Just like something is unflowing from the cauldron. And once you are done with that, you can go ahead and put it wherever you want. So I stuck it on my desk here, which is right by my front door. And I just arranged it the way that I want. And I added this skull because I thought it looked sort of cool with it. But obviously you don't have to. I got it from Michael's for like two bucks though. So might as well have a skull with it. I think that this is so cool. I think it's a sort of really unique sort of decoration. And I have never seen anything like this in stores before. So you get to make it yourself and have it be really cool and unique. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you make this DIY, don't forget to tweet me a picture to at Jay with the hashtag DIY with PXB. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, if you didn't know, I just filmed a video for Polish. So if you click on my face right now, you'll be able to see that. I show you how to get an awesome makeup look using only three products. Perfect for when you're in a rush for school. So go check it out.